Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is the final video in my winter makeup series. It should be Christmas day, the day that this is going live. So Merry Christmas if that's your thing. But let's talk some more about this video. I kind of saved the best for last in terms of this series. So today we're talking about sparkle and shine and I like get so excited about that. I tell my husband all the time that I am a raccoon. So I'm attracted to anything that like sparkles or shines and it's just, I think a part of my nature. So today's video, I have five looks to show you and like two bonus palettes to talk about. So why don't we go ahead and get into it. Okay, as we get started, like I said, I have two palettes that I did not do looks with, but I wanted to mention because you can get sparkly, shiny looks from these. This first one here is the Frankation palette from Dose of Colors, and this is what it looks like. If you've heard people talk about this palette before, you've heard them talk about how like beautiful these metallics are, and they all have like a, a little bit of glitter to them, and they're just stunning. So I wanted to swatch a couple for you just so you could kind of see how beautiful these shadows are, and I could have easily used one of these today in a look, but I decided to go with some other looks for today. Now the other palette that I wanted to showcase but I did not do a look with is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Sorry, the packaging is gonna be really shiny today with this ring light, but this has so many like beautiful high, high metallic finishes in this palette. And then it also has a couple, like this one up here is a really sheer base, but it's got really beautiful fine glitter that you can lay on top of like other shades to kind of transform them. And of course my swatch will be a little bit washed out because of, again, these lights. But I wanted to mention this one. If you have this palette in your collection, then maybe you need the little reminder that you have some awesome little transformer shades not to mention just like beautiful high metallic finishes for this palette okay now for the fun part let's get into the five looks the first one actually wasn't planned to be a part of this video until I literally sat down and thought to myself you know what I think you filmed this eye look so why not include it because it is a really beautiful sparkly shade from this palette this is the Sigma Enchanted palette I did a recent get ready with me where I used this shade here this is the shade Electrum, and I had this one all over my lid in that video, and it's just so, so beautiful. Such a good, like, kind of, someone in my comments section called it a chartreuse, and it definitely is. And this shade specifically really reminds me of, like, a good shade to wear on Christmas Day even, so I wanted to mention this palette here and kind of showcase that look. Again, in that look, I kept my crease pretty warm and then that chartreuse color all over my lid. And I think I would do the same thing for a Christmas Day look because I really like how warm that crease is and it really makes that like green shade kind of pop. So that was look number one with the Sigma Enchanted palette. Okay, look number two is coming from the Truly Miley Deeply palette from ColourPop. And this one, I actually had to borrow a shade from the Enchanted palette here because this, if you notice, doesn't have like a deep dark brown shade. I wish it had like one deep darkening brown kind of shade in the palette. But what I did is I set my lid with this shade here. This is Matter of Fact. And then in my crease, I mixed Lay Low and Golden Gate Bridge. This one's a more cool tone brown. This is kind of a warm tone, almost peachy kind of shade. And since I knew I was gonna use this like glittery gold here, I wanted my crease to pull a little bit warm, but not too warm, more neutral. So I tried to mix those kind of warm and cool shades. And then, like I said, this one doesn't have a warm brown in it. So I ended up reaching back into this palette here and I used the shade Terra here on the end in my outer corner. And then on my lid, I did go back to this palette for Sweet Dreams, which is a nice like kind of peachy gold shade and then on top I tapped renegade here which is a gorgeous gorgeous like glitter again the swatches are probably horrible but the peachy gold is there and then renegade is right beside it I really enjoyed the way that look came out and I thought that the, gl the glitter was really easy to work with that day I did wear it on top of the glitter glue but recently I tried out another glitter in this palette and I did not wear it over glitter glue and it lasted just as well and I'm kind of shocked to realize that like I don't need a glitter with this because anytime that I've ever worked with glitters in the past I've always had to use one but I really kind of like that if I wanted to, and especially if I weren't going to be wearing this all day, I could feel confident enough to just tap that glitter on top of my lid and like not worry about it really going anywhere. I know my eyelids might be different from other people's and some people who maybe have more creased lids have to wear glitter glue, but for me, it kind of worked that way. So I wanted to show this one off. Okay, look number three is coming from my Jackie Ina palette. A little bit of story before I show you the look. As I was trying to pick out looks for this video, I went through and swatched a bunch of different shades in my collection. And this one is actually one of the most beautiful sparkly shades in my collection. So I wanted to show it off. So I ended up using Ginger in my crease. I used Credit on the outer corner. And then I used this beautiful shade Zaman. It actually is has a good bit of glitter in it, but not not like big chunky glitter, but just like beautiful, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a perfect shade in my opinion, but it's got some beautiful chunks of little bitty glitter in it. And then I used the shade above it, Soleil, in my inner corner. That's a swatch of Soleil right there. 
and I just really, really, really love the way this look came out. I love the versatility of this palette. I think it's so cool that you can get such a warm, beautiful, kind of neutral, wearable tone look from this. And then you look at this palette and obviously you can get some green tones, you can get some purples, you can get some reds, but this one is just such a good palette. I know they recently brought this palette back because it was limited edition, and I wholeheartedly believe that this is so worth the money. So if you've been thinking about this one, I definitely think this one's worth your money. Okay, look number four and the one I'm wearing are gonna look a little bit similar, but I just had to do a look with this palette. This is the Marc Jacobs Electric Palette. This was the holiday palette from last year. And last I saw, I don't know if they still have any, but Sephora was selling this discounted during like, during November sometime. So they may have already sold out of this palette, but I just really wanted to play with this palette because it just screams holidays to me. So I put this shade here, Rock Out, on my like brow bone. The one right beside it, Feel, I put in my crease. And then on my outer corner, I mixed the dark brown shade and the black shade just a little bit. And then I used this shade here called The Stage. This is like the most high impact silver that I've ever seen in my life. Let's we'll see if I can give you a little swatch. I put this shade all over my lid. It's just the most beautiful swatch ever. So I really, really love the look of that like cool tone in the crease and then the silver on the lid, but then you still have a little surprise of warmth in the dark brown on your outer corner. I just love this. This palette was the first time I ever got to try out the Marc Jacobs formula, and I have to say, I am so impressed. Now, now these shadows are super pigmented, so you have to be careful because if you go in too heavy, it will like you will realize really quickly that you made a mistake, but if you work really slow and make sure you tap off your brush really well, I think that this formula is so good, especially the metallics in this palette. I adore them. Okay, last up, look number five. The one I'm wearing comes from the Soldier palette, and this one is a beautiful, beautiful palette, and my eyes immediately go to like that pink and these like gray silver tones right here. And so while this whole palette as a whole is very sparkly and most of the metallics in here have a bit of glitter to them, I could have almost chosen any of them, but I really, really do like love this look that I'm wearing right now. I think it's probably my favorite look that I create with this entire palette. And not to mention that it's super simple. So right now I'll zoom you in. So in my crease, I have the matte gray called Slate and I just love that shade. I think it's so beautiful. It doesn't necessarily pull extremely gray. There's a little bit of like purple or pinkness to it in the undertone. Like it's just slightly purple or pink or taupe or something. Like it's not just black gray on my skin tone. And I love that shade so much. And then on my outer corner, I ended up mixing Slate and Noir just a little bit to kind of deepen things up. And then on my lid, I have Cyborg here. And again, Cyborg is another beautiful, definitely silver shade, but it's definitely got a little bit of something to the undertone. Maybe another, a little bit of pink again. So I swatched a little bit of it next to that Marc Jacobs shade, but can you see that it pulls a little bit more pink, whereas that Marc Jacobs shade is just straight silver. So even though the last look and this look end up being so similar, I still think they're unique enough to kind of wear at different times and different occasions. And I just love these so much. So I definitely wanted to showcase this look with the Sultry palette. This is one that I could see myself wearing on New Year's and especially the Marc Jacob one, look number four. I'm personally probably gonna wear the Marc Jacobs one on New Year's just because that like metallic is just insane. But I love this shade too. And I love this look for the fact that it has that slightly different kind of pinky undertone to it. So I'll give you one more look at this and then we'll zoom back out and close everything up. Okay, so that is everything for today's video. Again, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful, safe holiday. I really hope you enjoyed this series. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to let me know what your favorite holiday, like sparkle shine palette that you reach for is, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.